I'm Time Hello, and you're watching my Let's Play guide for Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Welcome back. On the last episode, we upgraded the mob farm to kill the monsters automatically, and we're collecting their drops in a crate. As you can see, it's full of bags. It also gets full of other stuff, which we recycle and we move about and we store. It's definitely overflowing already. So ideally we want to sort that out, but we'll be doing that in the next episode. This episode we just collected enough bags because we'll also be compacting them and opening them automatically possibly. I have no idea where that creeper came from, so I just hope he doesn't blow up my base. Ah, yes, I do know where he came from. When you build the tinkers machine, so something I didn't mention, but on top you may need to put torches because they actually have spots for light. So, I oh, see I can't put one up there, but I can stick it on the on the side of the block. Yes, and we also made the tinker structures. So at the moment we need to feed them with lava, but we will be automating that in due course. But we are we have them ready for doubling our metals, which we're going to need in this episode because we're going to need quite a bit of iron. And we can also even extend the size of them just by adding blocks to the top, for example, which I'm going to need to take the torch off that I've just put on, or making them wider. I actually want to change these quite a bit, but for now, I think that should be enough space. I want, My final idea will be that this has a cobble gen feeding lava automatically into it, so we have our furnace and smeltery always powered. This will be about six blocks and it will be feeding automatically into the tank so that our metals don't mix. But that will be for another episode. In this episode, we are going to finally deal with our chickens so that we don't have to really deal with them anymore except for the breeding. Instead of just completely progressing with uh, automation and redstone and stuff like that, I want to show you a few different ways to get there because you may have been playing it differently from me. So the first thing I'm going to need is dirt because I'm going to make a chunk of dirt for the chickens because that pen is just way too small. Something that we can do now because we have our mob farm we're getting bone meal and we're also getting rotten flesh. Rotten flesh we can use to make dirt so we don't have to break down trees. Just a different way to use some of the resources that we've got. All different types of food can also be used. Not everything, but most things. We can also use the chicken manure and even the eggs that we get, even the level eggs, like the sand chicken egg, the breeding ones, we can actually use them to turn them into dirt. We've nearly all out of our wooden sides now, so we're going to have to make some stone ones soon or automate the harvesting on a single piece of dirt with mechanical users. But again, that will be redstone and that will be a bit later on. We will get lots of bone meal from our bones in our mob farm and what we can do is something like that. So I believe seeds are 10 but potatoes are 8. So I'm going to make potatoes. If we just obviously right click bone meal, use it what it's for, we can get a lot of food which we can then turn into dirt. And with the right click macro it's just, it goes through a stack very quickly and we only need a single piece. I think that will be enough. We can even use wheat. If we run out of every other resource, we can actually use our wheat as well. The reason I don't really want to use that for now is because I need that wheat for more nesting pens. We're going to have 84 different breeds of chicken in total, so we're going to keep needing wheat to make a nesting pen if we want to control the resources they're giving us. Okay, I think I have enough dirt to get on with what I want to do and obviously you've seen me do this a few episodes so you don't want to see this anymore. So I'm going to finally put to use my iron chisel because I like the look of this clunky dirt and I don't feel like making a building. We're going to have an open aired chicken pen for all of our chickens and it's going to be filling up the chunk over here. Remember when building light up the area you don't want anything like that creeper to happen otherwise it, oh, I've just lost that bit of dirt and I've done it again otherwise it will mess up your plans so this dirt has quite a nice texture so the the plan with this is that it will be an entire chunk and it will be fenced off and our chickens will be running free the reason we let them run free is because they actually 
give us more resources when they're free. When you're not doing the chicken trick in the pen, they will drop, they'll lay resources quicker when they're actually wild and not sat in a nesting pen. You can speed that up more and even the growth of the baby ones by using a chicken feeder. So we'll put some feeders in there as well. We probably won't use the hen house anymore because we will just use item collectors. The hen house is great for what it does, but you need to keep powering it with hay bales. And the item collectors, once you get the mob farm and you get the eyes and the obsidian and you've got iron, they're very easy to make, very cheap, and they require no power, but do exactly what the hen house does. Except for the fact the hen house can take from nesting pens, but obviously that's a bit bugged at the moment. We've nearly got enough dirt for all of this. That's great. You won't have to watch much more of me putting random foodstuffs inside a barrel. And what we're going to need alongside... Ah, yes. We finally got our cake from our mob farm as well. We can make this, but I actually had it from the mob farm. If we feed it to our chicken, we get our chicken oster. So, happily... We can tick off the, the last of the tier ones, except for the nether chicken, but we will get that once we get into the nether, which will again be in a few episodes. Ah, maybe maybe next episode. We'll see. Let me see how it goes. I think that's probably enough dirt to finish our chunk. Probably not, but it's very close. So we need about 10 more. Actually, what I can do is, because our chickens give us all of that lovely manure, we will just grab that and use that. And what I mentioned about the normal eggs, so you can see when they're breeding, they also make sand chicken eggs and stuff like that. You can actually use them just as you would a normal egg, so you don't have to... So they have a use outside of breeding. I'll just do two rows of this and we'll put everything else away because that will be more than enough dirt for... Oh, okay, I'll do three. That will be more than enough dirt for now and currently we're not recycling those. We're not using those. We're not using those. We're also going to need fences and another fence gate. So let's get those made. Uh, we already have some fences over here, I believe. We're going to need some sticks. And... Maybe another all of them. <laughs> Maybe another all of them. We have enough planks and we have enough wheat for more chicken nests. So that's fine. Let's go along here. We're going to extend this out. And this is going to be for our wild chickens, as I've said. Our kind of pen, so that we don't have to worry about them anymore. Because when you have 84 different chickens, and if you are breeding a specific resource and you want it to be faster, you might have two, three, four, five, I don't know, however many of those chickens that you'd want to use, it's, then you need space for them, or you, you even need space for the pens. So it looks like a kind of nice, nice area for that. We need also a fence gate, because we want to separate the breeding area from the, uh, the walking area so that we can manage our breeding area a bit more. It's a bit messy in there now. If I want to go and grab a specific chicken, I have no chance of seeing it. If I grab some seeds, we can breed them out. For example, I need to see where our smartest smart chicken is. And I don't know which one it is. <laughs> They're pushing the cow. They're chicken power. Oh, don't you dare fall off the edge. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be very quick and run and grab that dirt because I don't want to lose any of those chickens. Pretty sure this is more than enough. And we'll get this going again. Get that in here and chunky dirt. Okay. And this area here, we are going to change around a little bit. Okay, come on chickens, come on chickens, get out, get out, get out, there we go, wonderful, let me close that off, this is your new home, welcome, you have longer, you have a wider area to walk around, look, enjoy, explore, and these two, we don't really need them in there for this moment, so I'm going to also give them a rest, they've been laying a lot of eggs, they've been laying a lot of resources, I'm surprised they haven't gone mad already. 
So we have our area for our chicken. I'm going to put the cows in there for now as well because this will be our actual breeding pen. And I'm just going to clear out this random stuff as well. We don't really need any of the dyes at the moment. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to need to, I hope this time, because last time I broke one of these things, I didn't get it back. If I use a pickaxe, do I get it back? Yes, I do. Okay. So I have a certain layout in mind for this. And it doesn't involve any of those. Okay. We'll get this here. We're going to need to put things away so that we don't have such a mess. The idea is that when you want to breed chickens, you can do it the way I've been doing it. You can feed them seeds and you'll get a live chicken. But once you get into the higher levels, you actually need to breed them more times than just once. If I try to crossbreed, I don't have a guaranteed new species. It's a, it's a chance of a new species, which means that if you feed them seeds, then you have to again come back and feed them seeds and keep waiting. If you use the nesting pens, you can kind of just put them in the pens and forget about them. The problem is, oh, didn't mean to do that. You need to empty them because if they get full, but they don't give you the egg, then you are kind of screwed. So what I do is I like to have two nesting pens and feed them into a chest, come back in a little while and they will have given me the chicken that I want. To do that, we are going to need iron from hoppers. So I'm just going to quickly put again away <laughs> all of these resources. Although I'm going to need, uh, I got them out for a reason. So let's actually do that. We're going to need more nesting pens. Which means we need more hay bales. I can't, no. But if I do that, then R, there we go. Then R and make them into nesting pens. Yes, that works. And we can put them up there for now. And is there anything else I can drop off here? The seeds I'm going to keep because I'm going to breed. And the dirt is just dirt, but it's different colored. So it's going to go into a different place. Yes, as I was saying, we need iron for our hoppers. The problematic thing with the chicken mod is that moving the items, you either have to use, for example, the hen house to take out of the nesting pens, or you need to use ender io item conduit, uh, conduits which we're not there yet or you have to use vanilla hoppers you can't use the standard simple item transfer nodes so vanilla hoppers obviously come from iron which means we need to sieve the most uh, reliable way is really with iron meshes or diamond meshes but we get a 22 percent chance of getting iron from these and we also get a few others so we might as well make the most of our flint meshes. We're not going to be using them for that long. We can just take advantage of them while we have them. And if you check the goals list, you can see there are six, eight chicken. Well, we've done one of them. So there are seven different crossbreeds we need. In the file that I've put in the description, I've got all of the different possible chicken combinations. So if you do need to know how to get a specific one, you've missed it on the video or you're further ahead or you want something else you can easily just filter if you go to that google document you can easily uh, filter and find out how to breed up to the resource that you want to get so once i show you the method that i'm using it's very easy to just replicate that to get the chickens that you need I don't know if I actually stored cocoa beans. I can't remember if we're going to use them or not. So for now, I'm just going to put them away here. Obviously, we've got cactus seeds and everything as well. Lots of metal chunks now, which is great. Need to see, do we have any more over here we can borrow? No, we used them all last episode. I only need iron for the moment. So we're just going to take the iron and we're going to put everything else away. Later, we'll be doing gold because we're going to upgrade our backpack and also make a bag of holding so that we... Why is that not? Okay. We have a few more story solutions uh, that are mobile. And you can kind of choose the one that you like to use. Because we made it bigger, we can now actually put 20 in at a time, which will give us 40 bars. But quicker than that, we can just pour it out into blocks. Or we can do both at the same time, and then we can turn blocks back into bars. 
So while we wait for that, I am just going to quickly double check the file that I literally ah, just mentioned to you and I clicked on the wrong one because we want to make specific chickens and I want to also use my file because it just makes it easier. And we're on to tier two. While I do that, I'm going to put away all of this because I don't need any more. And I already have so much, <laughs> full, uh, so many things in my inventory. I guess we can keep the nesting pen. Uh, maybe I can find a use for it. I mean, the hen house, maybe we can find a use for it. And obviously the sticks we don't need. Okay. Yeah, so the first uh, chickens we'll make, we'll need the gunpowder one, the coal one. And we have our resource chickens we can breed for that. All right, let's melt, melt it down. Let's get it pouring out. Be careful if you do this, because if you don't complete a block, because you don't have enough in there, then you'll actually won't be able to do anything unless you fill it up completely with that block. You'll have blocked the basin unless you break it, which means you'll actually lose the resource. So for hoppers, I can't remember how much iron it is. So it's five iron in the chest. We need four hoppers, so we need about 20 iron. A block will be nine and four. How many have we got? Got another three blocks. So we definitely have enough. It's just, uh, just takes a bit of time. We'll be able to automate this a bit later on as well with redstone, because we can just put a redstone clock there and it will keep turning it into bars or ingots, but we won't be doing it from here. We'll be doing it from the tank. We have another two blocks and eight ingots in there. So the tinkers used to be a lot quicker. It never used to have this progress and this cooldown time. You used to pour it and it was done. I, I really miss that because it's actually quite awkward to use this now. If you want to get things done in a speedy way, we'll use it at the beginning because it's a cheap way to get doubling for our ores, and then later on we'll just automate the machines because they're easier to to manage and they they get fast. They're faster than these, how many have we got left? Three ingots and a block. We probably have enough now to make that. So let that finish what it's doing and we'll make our hoppers. We need chests. I'm gonna have four hoppers, yeah. Because again, I'm gonna use the chicken trick. Normally it wouldn't be as quick as this, but while it's available, let's make the most of it. So I'm actually gonna have two lots going on which means we're gonna to want to actually go damn we're gonna actually want to grab another two chests one and we obviously don't have enough for two but they are very cheap so we don't have to worry about that okay so we've got our chest and our nesting pens the last piece is the hopper and I want to make four of those I feel like it will be enough with what we're doing but without the speedy chicken trick you might want to make more breeding pens than this because it does take quite a bit longer to have the chickens lay their eggs and obviously that also means that you won't get the chicken you're looking for at this kind of speed but then if they don't actually update the pack any more versions, this will work all the way through. So here we have our two breeding pens and we have them feeding into two chests. Now we just need our chickens. So the ones we're going to make are snowball and gunpowder chicken. The gunpowder chicken is flint and sand. So let's grab our sand chicken. I know it's done a, it's done a lot of work for us. But what's going on? Can't grab it. Yes, I can. Yeah, but it's going to do some more. So we've got the sand one in here. And the flint. Okay, so the two that have been working just need to breed one more time. And then we can leave them in peace. Obviously, we'll speed it up so they lay a bit quicker. And what you'll notice is that now, because they're next to each other, so with the nesting pens, as long as they are side by side or top to bottom, they will actually breed. They can't be diagonal, but they will breed with the chicken next to them. So here, you can see we're getting flint eggs, sand eggs, and we've already got some gunpowder eggs. We can throw them and hope. 
<laughs> get extremely lucky like that. So normally I wouldn't do that. I was just uh, demonstrating that there was a way to do it. Or we can place them in our actual nesting pens, which I am special and I used up. Sorry, not nesting pens, our egg. Do one second. I'll say what they're called. Egg nests, yes. Or we can place them in our egg nests and wait as we have done in the past. So what I'll have is because the best way to do that is actually putting them in the nests instead of just throwing the eggs. Although we are getting the eggs quickly, we're going to do it at least partially how they expect you to do it. Normally you would put the egg in there and just wait. But now we already have our gunpowder chicken. We don't need to. We don't even need them breathing anymore. So let's just get them back in there. You've done what I need you to do for the moment. So have your rest finally. And I'm just going to empty this. I'm going to keep that on me for now. And preferably, I should actually do this the other way around. So let's do this the other way around. Let me fill my bar so I don't have a mess up here. And we'll take all of this because we don't need any of that stuff in here. And we want to make sure we know what eggs we're looking at. So we're not breeding up to get new levels of eggs. We're just breeding up to get the resource on. Which reminds me, we need to find... I need to come in here and clear out the not-so-smart smart chickens. And you can see they're laying lots and lots. We just need to get an item collector in here. And we will start to enjoy the benefits of that. So we have a 988 over there. So it looks like we need to breed this guy with this lady and hopefully we'll get a 10 10 10 did that not die i guess they get stronger as well yeah hopefully that's a 10 10, 10. Oh, it's a 10 10 9 so one more breeding and we'll have our 10 10 10 chickens so we won't have to worry about that and then we will crossbreed that smart one with every single resource chicken so that we have our 10 10 10 resource chicken but back to what we were doing we just got our gunpowder chicken, so we need our snowball chicken. Our snowball chicken is lapis blue and log. So we get to use that log chicken that we got a little while ago. Put him in there. Grab our lapis blue chicken. Put it in there. While we're over here, let's grab the nickel and this. No, we're going to do the nickel chicken. And the nickel chicken is bone white and cactus green. So let's grab our cactus green chicken. Speed up that hen house. Remember that when you do this little trick, the actual hen nest sorry, the nesting pen, the actual nesting pen is sped up. So you don't need to do it for each new chicken you put in. You just need to put a chicken in the same pen that you've already sped up. And that was what was it? Cactus green and bone white. So then we can just rotate them in and out, and I'm sure we'll have the eggs down there. We can actually even check from this side so we don't have to keep going back and forth. Yeah, we already have our snowball egg. So they're done, and in here we probably already have the next one as well. Lime, cactus cream, nickel. Yeah, so they're already done. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you. So we need our string chicken, and our string chicken is an ink black and a log, so actually you need to go back in. And we need to find the ink black, that is the grey one, where is our black chicken? Where is he hiding, what am I? Ah, he's watching, <laughs> he knew he was next, so he was just watching and waiting. And then for our redstone chicken, we need red and sand, so this sand one is it's a stud. It's breeding like crazy. And the next ones are iron and coal, and iron and coal, bone white and flint. So the flint one goes back in as well. So there's our string chicken. So these two are done. So bone white and flint. Oh, remember, normally it doesn't. It's not this quickly. It's just because we've used the uh, chicken trick to speed it up. But the idea is the same. You just put them next to each other, walk away, go and do something else, come back, and you eventually will get the chicken egg that you want. So we've got our bone white and flint going, which will give us the red... Sorry, the iron. And we need nether quartz and yellow forgot. No, we need flint and log. So the log one's going back in. 
<laughs> I guess he's the flint one's done over there. It's string. Snowball. Are we not waiting for another one? Iron them. I'm going mad. Yes, okay, so we need to put this flint one over here. And now these will read as well. Coal. Bone white and flint was meant to give us an iron chicken. Did it give us an iron egg? Or am I... Gonna have to put them together. It did give us an iron egg, it's just the same colour. They're not all different colours, so it's a bit awkward sometimes. And this is coal. So we have done all of our chickens, which means we can tick off the first line. We've done our chicken pen. We've done the hoppers, so we have automatic breeding and eggs. We've done our snowball and gunpowder. We've done our nickel string chicken osto. We've done our redstone, iron and coal. Now, we need to let these poor chickens rest, because breeding that many times is definitely going to be... Gonna need them to uh, take a break, have a rest. We don't need most of this. I'm gonna keep at least the manure. Oh, keep that, I guess. All right, we wanted one string. We don't need most of these dyes for the moment. We don't need more of the same chickens for the moment. So yeah. Then we've got our new ones here. So we've got our string, our coal, our nickel. And our snowball, our iron. We've got more string, but we don't need. Yeah, and so that was seven, and our chicken osto was eight. So we just lay the eggs. Then we've got our iron one in there, and our snowball in here. We'll need to hatch these four. And after that, we will have the first level of chickens. So that means we actually have iron and redstone from a chicken now. So we don't have to do sieving. If you don't want to, you could leave it at that. And you'd be, uh, you'd be okay for resources. You just need to keep breeding the chickens and get obviously your 10, 10, 10 chicken up as well. So that it was it was fast enough. And do I have I have enough wheat to make a few more of these egg nests? So we're just gonna do that as well because wheat is a very renewable resource right now. We have no reason not to make the most of it. And it also means I don't have to carry these eggs around with me for the most part. We can just leave them in here. One, two, three. So now the next three are done and we just need one more. I swear I've lost one in the middle. Iron. Snowball. Ah, gunpowder's already over there because we got very lucky with the gunpowder one at the start. That's why. Yes. So the next thing is going to be a bag of holding because what we're going to do... I didn't put the nesting pens down either. All right, so this will just stay here. What we are going to do is use the bag of holding for our tools and use the backpack for our resource gathering because the backpack has a lot of extra features that the bag of holding doesn't and no sorry we can use the bag of holding for our building materials and the backpack for everything else because we can replenish our tools instead of having to click manually clicking them. So for example, when we run out of our wands, it will take it automatically from the bag. We can also replenish or collect specific things when we mine it. One block and two ingots. So let me just get that done as well. So it just makes sense to make the most of our backpack and it eases our life when we're doing our sieving and our hammering because we can automatically replace the hammers and the wands, which means we can even automatically replace the, bro the blocks and we can automatically compress them as well if we want to. It's kind of we take it as far as we want to take it with it. So I'm just going to get these two hammers out as well. Make sure this is kind of full of what we need. That's going to go in there for now. So for the bag of holding, 
And it's always good to have kind of things that we might use for building on us instead of in storage. So for example, those chests, we wouldn't have to go back and forth to get them. So we just need gold. See, and this is a perfect example. Two chests. So six gold, two chests, and a magical wood, which is so seven gold and a bookshelf. We should already yeah so we have one block and seven ingots so as soon as that's finished we'll have enough gold we also have a lot of iron because we're going to want to upgrade our iron backpack and to upgrade our iron back our leather backpack to iron we need a chest the backpack and seven iron so we'll do that now as well so we need to go back over here and grab that chest that we just put away use our crafting to ah, unequip the backpack use the crafting table and now it's storage so you can actually make an upgrade emphasis if you really want to take full advantage of all the different things that you can do with the backpack but i feel like the storage emphasis is enough especially for this mod pack because we don't really do mining in this we don't really need many of the features that they use you can make a few different backpacks and make them do different things because you can even rename them to so that you know what they are for example this one will be tools and resources but I don't feel like I need to name it either so we have our iron backpack which is great and we can also upgrade that into gold with the same recipe I believe let's have a check so storage yeah we just need seven gold instead which is why we are making a lot of gold because our bag of holding and our backpack both require gold for the upgrade so we've got six ingots left in here so we'll just get the most out of that and then we can actually do the upgrade straight into gold we'll put the chest and put the gold around it and get it into the right slots and now we have a gold backpack I believe there's one more tier after this which is diamond but we're not there yet when we get there same thing diamond and chest and we can upgrade it even further and if you check the backpack now we used to just have two and now we have six available slots so it's very very useful so i can tick off iron and gold backpack we also want to make a restocking upgrade and we need to make that bookshelf so a restocking upgrade are pistons which are four redstone or one redstone each and four iron okay and an upgrade core which generally is needed in these upgrades which is just leather paper and string and we only need one more ingot there so let's go over here we've got all of those resources so we can make what we need so we need paper actually we need to knock down some more no we've got sugarcane so let's make paper out of the sugarcane we needed some leather. We need a book for the bookcase. We, I believe we need planks for the bookcase as well. We need to go and grab some string. Right. So, and we're going to need stone, iron, and slime. So we've got stone here, slime here, and we've got a bit of redstone as well. So we only need four, one, two, three, four. First use of redstone will be for pistons actually any cobblestone not stone I always get those two mixed up well we have even more cobblestone we don't have to actually think about it at all so let's go back to this recipe we need to make four pistons we need to make two of them into sticky pistons one oh did I run out of slime yeah we ran out of slime but we have our way to manage that so it's okay let me just put this cow to use now we have the slime so we can make our second sticky piston we also need our upgrade core so we have the leather the paper and the string for that and now we can make our restocking upgrade so what we can do we can put the backpack like we did with the button upgrade put it with the upgrade there and you'll see that we have if we hold shift we've used one of our configure up configurable upgrades and if we shift and right click we can actually choose what to restock so if I want to restock my wands or restock my hammers as long as I've got them in my backpack so if I put my hammer there and my wand there I guess the hammer will be the easiest one to show because I can actually use it right now I don't think we need to put it on our back but I'm going to put it on my back anyway so you can see I've got only one hammer 
and I have a lot of cobblestone, so that hammer is going to run out. I also have only one wand in my bag, but the rest are in my backpack. So if I fill my backpack with wands, what this should have should happen is as soon as that runs out. Oh, have I done something wrong? Ah. Okay, restocking's not going to work for tools because they have durability and it doesn't it doesn't recognize it. But we'll, we'll do it the other way around. So instead, we'll say it like this. We're going to grab all of this cobble and instead of having to store it in a mess here, we can actually put it in our backpack. Not all of it because I need to put cobble on here. Then once I put a bit of cobble down and actually I need to put my backpack on. Put the backpack on, get the wand and the hammer out. Yes. You see we only have 18. Now the wand will automatically take the rest, but you see it's already restocked it to 64. It will keep restocking using the cobble that is in our backpack. So we don't have to worry about holding it all here. As long as we have it stored here, it will keep taking from there and filling it up. Very useful for when we're going to do a bit more hammering because we can configure sand, dust, we can have quite a few different resources doing that and we don't need to store it all in this. We just collect what we've got here and we put the rest into our backpack. It's a shame it doesn't work on tools. I, was, I thought it did, but I was mistaken there. You can go one step further with it as well. You can get a compression upgrade and that will actually allow you to compress it into compressed version like cobble, gravel, sand, whatever you're choosing to hammer. But I am not really going to go anywhere near that because for what I'm doing, I don't need to. So we were making also our bookshelf, which are just three books and six planks. So we have one book, which means we need to make another few books. So three paper and some leather. I think we even have that on us. That's great. So let's just make our two books. Then let's make our bookshelf. And we should have that last bit of gold done, which means we can also make our golden bag of holding. And we then have a decently sized mobile inventory. And it's even separated. So let's get this golden bag of holding. Probably easier just to type bag of holding. Ah, we need our magical wood. Yeah. Now we need our bag of holding. So with this, you can't really put it on, but you can just right click and it's another bag. And here I'm going to put, for example, these because these are building things that I will use in certain points. I'll even put the hay bales, just useful things. So we've got an extra bag that we can take with us. You can put it in here. You can have it in your, in your hot bite. It doesn't matter. And then when we need to use it, we can just have a look inside and take out what we want until we have uh, wireless storage and connection to it. This is uh, very useful along with our backpack which will allow us to store whatever else we want. For example, I've got tools in here and I'll actually take out everything else because this is going to be my tool bag and this is going to be my building bag. So we have organized storage on the move which is great. So we've done our bag of holding, we've done our restocking upgrade and the last thing for this episode will be our iron meshes. Now we can do sieving, we can do the hammering with the restocking, but we have an iron chicken. So I am going to take full advantage of that because I need 126 iron and we have that little chicken trick we can use for now. So did it grow yet? No it hasn't, but if I sit on it, it will speed up the growing. We don't have a redstone uh, lamp yet, so we can't do anything automatic. While I'm sitting here, let's open a loot bag and we got some electrical steel. You can see it's a little bit faster now I'm actually sitting on it. I am the mother hen warming the egg and even while I'm on it I can probably clear out all of this because we don't need any of these eggs. I need the string one so do not get rid of the string one. I can keep that as well. Oh. Coal log log. There we go. So that chicken doesn't think we're its mother, which is great, but it did speed up the egg. So there we go. We've got our chickens 
growing. We've got our iron chicken and we can use that little trick. Especially now that we have a hopper as well. We don't have to worry about it filling up. We can use the trick to grow the chicken. On top of that, so that should grow very quickly. Yeah, it will start laying those iron ingots and they'll start being taken into here after it takes everything else. And while we're over here, I'm going to grab two more seeds because I should also get our final 10 10 10 chicken in this episode, which means we won't have to breed the smart chickens anymore with each other. We will actually need to breed them with the other resource chickens. So where are those smart chickens? It must have grown up by now. So we have our 10 10 9. Where's the other one? Okay, so I've made a massive field, but you're all going to bunch together anyway, of course. All right, there's our 10, 10, 9. There's our 10, 8, 9. Come on, give me a 10, 10, 10, baby. Let's end this. Let's end this on a high note. There we go. We have our 10, 10. Don't you dare. Don't you. Yes, we have our 10, 10, 10 chicken. So what we can do and what I'm going to do, same process as we've done with the crossbreeding. You stick the chicken in there. You stick the one that you want to make a uh, higher level chicken of next to it. So they are now breeding with each other. We empty this so that we can clearly see what we're dealing with. So give me a second here. We can actually automate this, <laughs> but we're, we're not there yet. Okay. And there. That's a snowball, and there's another. Okay, right. So here we have our snowball chicken. So we are going to look for snowball, and you can see it's giving us 999 eggs already. I'm just going to get rid of those because I want to show it like this. So we're getting 999. All you need to do is hatch this, this guy, and then breed it one more time with the 10 10 10, and you'll get a 10 10 10 resource chicken. So it only takes two lots of that. So we don't need this guy, this in there anymore. And actually this one is not needed at all now because we have our 999 and we'll breed it one more time with this smart chicken and it will be a 10, 10, 10. So I'll leave them there so I know what I'm doing. And as we get through it, I'm going to put them separately just so that I remember which ones I've done. So this is the reason why I've got these extra nesting pens. Because for the moment, I am just going to sit each chicken that we've completed down and then if we actually need them for a resource we'll put them somewhere else so we haven't done that one yet but once I've got a 10 10 10 that will be the first one that sits in line and in the meantime you can have a rest and this is laying up already got 64 iron ingots which is great Obviously, if you're not doing it this way, you'll be probably hammering the cobble down or hammering the sand or the gravel, sieving it and getting the iron pieces from that. This way, just it's a bit quicker. So while we wait, we can start to make our iron meshes. It's the same recipe as the flint. It's just iron instead of flint. So I can fit 10 at the moment in here. Go and empty my inventory while we wait. And actually I can put these meshes down as well. So the iron ones I'm going to put over here and the diamond we are going to have at the very end. Let's get rid of that as well. And actually while we're here, we can just empty out the inventory just a little bit. I can even put the bag in the backpack or vice versa if we really want to have a storage inception going on. And actually the backpacks themselves, if you look into that mod a little bit more, you can have a backpack in a backpack in a backpack and they can all be functional. So you can do a lot of crazy things with those backpacks, depending how far you want to take it. Here we have some gravel. And also next episode, we're finally going to have a draw controller so you won't watch any more of this struggle trying to find the exact spot that I've put the specific resource in in the drawers because we'll be able to just speak to the single draw controller and get the result of putting everything away that we already have in our drawers and I'm gonna have to grab some more string because I definitely don't have enough string for and 
snowballs. <laughs> kind of a fun thing, I guess. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough string for doing what we're doing. And while we're here, I'm going to grab the building stuff that I talked about. And the kind of useful utensils, because this way I don't have to come back to my storage system whenever I want to take it. I just go into my bag of holding and should be there. Obviously I probably don't need all of this because not much of it is uh, is useful for the moment or maybe even any more. But it's good to have it just in case it does come up. And our electrical steel will continue all the alloys and the metals along this corner so I will leave that with those. Just need to grab string, finish those meshes, and I can call this episode complete. Here we have our iron. Yes, we have more than enough. We had 10 already, so we need to do another 15 and uh, 16. So let's get the meshes done and get this episode finished. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Let me just do those first, just so that I make sure. Oh, I thought I'd overmade. I'm standing on the wrong mesh. Yes. Do, do. And the good thing about iron is that now with our iron meshes, we can get redstone from sieving. And redstone is the key ingredient to start the automation of many things. So we need another six. Except for the chickens, which only seem to work with the hoppers. Most other things work with the transfer pipes. And they are very easy to make and very easy to use. And very cheap because you can make one, you can turn it into a thin transfer pipe, which then is another eight. Okay, perfect. So we've done our iron. Just because we're here, let's use it once. And I'll call it at the end of the episode. And I'll tick it off as well. So we actually did everything on the list. Ah, we get diamonds as well from the iron meshes. So depending on what you're sieving, you will get either diamonds, I think we even get emeralds. If we just go back to this iron mesh, we right click on that, we can see, yeah, we can get into prosperity shards, which mean we can also get into finally our inferior farms. We can get redstone from dust. We can get diamonds from gravel. And emeralds come with the diamonds, so with our diamonds we can start to make our diamond meshes as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next episode we're going to work on some automation, and then we'll get into power. Maybe they'll happen at the same time, depending on uh, the way that we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. The top is my most recent upload. It may not be this, but if you like this, you might like that. The video on the right is the next in the series. The video on the left is the previous one from the series, and in the middle is me. If you like click me, subscribe, like. If you dislike, dislike. Let me know why. Let me know if you want to see anything. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye.